I'm setting you free. Oh, thou hast set me free, Master. Now I belong to thee. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I, I rescued you and you rescued me. We're even. I'm going home now and you, you go wherever you go, okay? Goodbye, Jeannie. Goodbye. Jay, I want to talk to you. You can't have Jeannie back. There's uh, been some kind of a mistake. Something went wrong with my watch. <clears throat> now, it's up to me to decide if I want to send her back, and I've decided I do not want to send her back. Are you listening? All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll fight you for her. But I warn you, I'm trained in unarmed combat. Thanks. <laughs> No, Master. Well, how'd you get away from the Haji? I did not go to Haji. Yeah, but you, but you said uh, that at midnight you had to... Yes, Master. Midnight Haji's time. Midnight Haji's time. Well, I, uh, I set your watches back. You set our watches back? Well, I did not think you wanted me to go, really. And, and, and anyway, it, it is too late now. Oh, too late, too late, yes. Mm. Um, that is until next year. Yes. Do you mind very much? Well, I guess I could put up with you for another year. Oh, I am glad. Yeah, but you remember, you're going to keep your promises. You're going to stay in your bottle a lot, and you're not going to interfere with my life, right? Oh, that is right, Master. Hmm. Welcome home. Oh, thank you, Master. <laughs> <laughs> Suitors for the hand of Queen Jeannie, step forward and announce yourself. Wait a minute, I demand the right to see the queen. I demand the right to call the cop. Master! Oh, what, what is the meaning of this? You dare invade the Imperial throne room on the day of the riddle? Jeannie, I want to talk to you. Silence! You have no claim on her. You are not her master any longer. Then I demand the right to ask for her hand in marriage. Marriage? But, but Master, you, you said that... I know what I said, Jeannie, and I must have been out of my mind. I can't live without you. I love you, and I want you to be my wife. Oh. <laughs> Master. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, let's talk this thing over. <laughs> hey, I'm in the United States Air Force. I'm a major. I, I, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle, but now that I have my master back, I no longer wish to be Queen of Basenji. <laughs> I will ride off, and goodbye, Uncle. Jeannie! Jeannie! Oh, what about me? I didn't want to come here in the first place. Where did you come from, Major? The last we heard of you, you were over Russia. Uh, you must be mistaken, sir. We just got back from the Aleutians. I knew you would let me down, Major. General. Colonel. 
I'd like to introduce you to my fiance. Jeannie? Look, how wrong can a fellow be? I, I hope you'll forgive me, but I, I won't blame you if you don't. Jeannie? Jeannie? Hi. Oh, Jeannie, how wrong can a fella be? I won't blame you if you don't forgive me. I hope you will. Never. Do not bother me. I am choosing a new planet. I will not stay where I am not wanted. Who said that? Huh? Who, who said that? Who said you weren't wanted? I will find a master up there who does not hate blondes. Jeannie, I didn't mean that. Uh, you know, we have a custom on this planet called kiss and make up. I would know more of this custom. I'm truly sorry. I'll never accuse you of anything like that again. You promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go, Master. Well, <laughs> that, that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. How do you change the weather like that? Oh, it is simple. I think hot. <laughs> you think hot? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if we could control the weather. Oh, well, that is easy, Master. But would you not get tired of sunshine all the time? Yeah. I suppose I would. It used to uh, get pretty cold up in Wisconsin where I was. Oh, do you enjoy the cold weather? Yeah, yeah. I must say some of the happiest days of my life were spent in the snow and the, the cold in Wisconsin. Like that, Master? Huh? Hey, that's wonderful, dear. That's what... Do you, Anthony Nelson, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. To care for her in sickness and in health, adversity and prosperity? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you live? I do. Do you, Jeannie, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you care for him in sickness and in health, prosperity and adversity? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you live? Oh, yes, I do. You may place the ring on her finger. Then, by the power vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. You'll still be out with Captain Healy. Oh, I left him. You were not worried about me? 
Hmm? No, no, not a bit. I said to myself, if Jeannie can't take care of herself, who can? Well, I, I thought you might at least go up to Captain Healy's apartment to see if I was all right. No, 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 it never occurred to me. Well, that'd be at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Jeannie, do you mind? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Roger, what are you doing here? Oh, I couldn't sleep, Tony. I figured if you needed a slide rule at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, you must be working on something pretty important, so I brought it over. Come on, thanks. You really don't have to bother. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Master, you did go to Captain Healy's apartment. Well, only for a minute. Oh, you were worried about me. A little bit. Jeannie, there's one thing you've got to remember. What is that? human. <laughs> 